Good evening, everybody. Um, it's rather late tonight, but God gave me this, and um, figured I'd share. It's an interesting story behind this. God gave me this a couple months back, but He'd given it to me before, and I taught it before. So when I heard Him, and I, I was like, "Well, maybe I'm hearing myself." I was like, "You know, I, I'm hearing it wrong this time. I think I'm hearing it wrong." So I. I didn't. I didn't come out to uh, to teach. Well, you know the interesting thing about that is God never gave me anything else. And so the other day, I was asking God. I was like, God, you know, um, you got anything for Bible study? He said, I already gave it to you, and I'm not gonna give you anything else until you do what I told you. So <laughs> here I am tonight. Um, turn with me to Psalms 134. The book of Psalms. It's only three verses. And like I said, yes, I've taught on it before. But God wants me to teach on it again. Good evening, Mary. Um, Psalms 134, only three verses. And while you are getting your Bible to, to turn to 134, it's very short and very sweet. But God gave me a deeper revelation than what I had before. And I'm thankful that he did that because even when I taught the first time I felt like something was missing but this time I believe God had given it to me so um, he's given me a lot more than what he gave me the first time so Psalms 134 go ahead and get your word and turn with me and we're going to be able to go in prayer Heavenly Father we thank you Lord for your word we thank you for your grace and your mercy thank you Father for guiding us safely through the day even into the night hour. Lord, we pray that you allow us to have a good night's sleep. Keep your angels posted around us, God, and our families and our property, Father, to, to keep us safe. And, Father, we just thank you for all that you're doing, God. Lord, help us ha to have a mind that's set on you, Father, so that we can dwell in your peace. God, continue to feed our spirit, Father. Help us to see things your way, Father. Break the word down in such a way, Father, that we can use it to grow on God daily, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord, for all that you do for us and our loved ones. And just, God, so many things that we just take for granted. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I pray on tonight, Father, that you will get the glory. It's not about me. I just pray that your word is taught very clear. Please teach it in such a clear way, Father, that anybody who's willing to understand, who wants to understand, can get it. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you, of course, for Jesus. And we love you. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. We, amen. Psalms 134. And it goes as follows. It's like I said, it's rather short. And this is out in the MacArthur Study Bible. And it says, Behold, bless the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, who by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary. And bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Bless you from Zion. The first time God gave me this, right around the end of verse 1, I took it for what it said. It says, who by night stand in the house of the Lord. And I took it as if it was the sanctuary, uh, you know, maybe a church. or, But God gave me something deeper this time. And listen. Night and day is what we're looking at. When you look at day, day represents, you know, a joyous occasion. Uh, you know, usually in the daytime, people are going about their way, but they're enjoying themselves. Night represents a dark time in your life. Night represents when nobody's around but you. You, you feel like you're alone. Night represents that season in your life that is, represents the turning point. And I'm sure many of you all that are watching have had that turning point in this walk with the Lord where nobody else could help you. Nobody could console your pain. Nothing that you did, nothing that you used to do worked. And it it made you fall back into a place where God, I give up. God, I give up. If you don't help me, I can't get help. 
And that's what this night represents. See, at nighttime, God knows what he's doing. At nighttime, through the revelation, nighttime could be in the broad daylight. Because it really has very little to do with time. It has to do with the season in your life. This nightfall, like I said, could be right there in the midst of many people. You could be in a crowded room but still feel alone. This nightfall, and this is what God is telling them about. He says, Behold, bless the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, who by night stand in the house of the Lord. Stop right there. When you are in this circumstance, this season of your life, the only thing that is going to bring you through it is God. You have to get, and I'm going to tell you, it goes a little deeper than this. Yes, people say, okay, I, I, I prayed. I'm still feeling this way. I, 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 uh, uh, the key aspect goes back up to the beginning. Bless the Lord. All ye servants of the Lord. That is the key element. See, we sometimes get so caught up on I prayed that we forget to praise him. We forget to worship him. See, when you start to bless the Lord, your problems begin to get real small. And that's what God is trying to get us to understand that in nightfall, in that time, that season of your life, when you feel like I give up. No more. I don't want no more. I can't take no more. God is saying at that point, bless me. He says, starting at one again, behold, bless the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, who by night stand in the house of the Lord. Where's the house, y'all? The house is wherever you are. This is really this temple. So when you are, when you are, like again, going through that season in you, he's saying, bless him. Just bless me. And he says, lift up your hands. He's, this is key right here to worship. Verse 2. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary. Lift your spirit. Give me your spirit. Give it to me. Give, give me that issue. Give me that hurt. Give me that pain and worship me. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. Verse 3. The Lord who made heaven. Ain't he powerful? And earth ain't he powerful? We'll bless you from Zion. So check this out. I told you this was short. Those that are going through that night hour, that night season, that season where you just feel like I can't take it no more. This is what God tells us to do. Lift up your hands and bless the Lord. Bless him. Worship him. Give him honor, give him glory, and as you praise him, I guarantee if you do this and literally praise him, not concentrate on a problem, you concentrate on him and give him glory, praise his name, worship him, remembering the things he's already brought you through. And as you do these things, guess what? He promises the Lord who made heaven and earth will bless you from Zion. So check this out. Get yourself out of yourself and get your mind focused on God and bless his holy name. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, God, for your word. I thank you for bringing it out in clarity. Let it touch the one that you have, been, that, that you have designed for this to touch. God, we thank you for your many promises. We thank you, God, for showing us the way on how to walk through this life, God. You said, cast all our cares upon you, for you care for us. This is just another reminder that you're standing right there waiting for us to give the issue to you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. And thank you for your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Love you, Lord. Amen. Love y'all. Get some sleep tonight. Study this word and meditate on it so that you can get the victory in your situation like God designed. Love y'all. Good night.